In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to change the pedals on a bicycle. Pedals come in many different shapes and sizes, but the method for installing them is virtually the same for all pedals. The most important thing to keep in mind is that left and right pedals are not the same. At a first glance, these two pedals might look identical, but if you take a closer look, you'll see that one is labeled L and the other is labeled R. The key to what makes them different is the screw thread. If you look closely, you'll see that the threads for the right pedal are cut in one direction and the threads for the left pedal are cut in the opposite direction. Similarly, the threads which are cut in the left and right cranks are also cut in opposite directions to match the pedals which belong to them. So this means that if I try to thread this right pedal into this left crank arm, that they simply won't go together because the threads don't match. If you try to force it, you'll likely strip the threads, so always pay very careful attention to this. Since the direction of the threads are opposite, this means that the direction of rotation is also opposite. The right pedal is tightened in one direction, while the left pedal is tightened in the opposite direction. So now with that important background information out of the way, we can get started by removing these old pedals so that we can install these other ones in their place. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to get started on the right side of the bike, which is the side of the bike that has the chain on it. To be able to unthread this pedal, I need to use a wrench which can engage with the flat spots on the inside of the pedal axle there. Here you can get a better look at what the flat spots on a pedal look like. The most common size for these is 15 millimeters, so if you have a size 50 millimeter wrench that fits on there perfectly, that would be ideal. However, depending on how tightly your pedals are fastened, you'd probably also be able to get away with using an adjustable wrench like this one. The very best tool for doing this job though is a pedal wrench like this one, which is specifically designed for doing this job. As you can see, this one is sized for 50 millimeters, but this wrench is significantly longer than a conventional 50 millimeter wrench, which makes it easier for applying high amounts of torque for pedals which are really badly stuck. This wrench also has three sets of jaws, which gives you several different options of different angles that you can position the wrench on to the pedal, which allows you to find the best position to optimize it so that you're able to use your body weight and gravity to apply the force. There are also some pedals which have an Allen key socket in the end of the pedal axle. These pedals can be tightened or loosened without using a wrench by inserting an Allen key from the back side. So since we're starting on the right side of the bike, we can use the right hand rule to help us know which direction we need to turn our wrench for taking this right pedal off of our bike. So the right hand rule dictates that with your right hand, you take your thumb and you point it in the direction that you want the object that you're working on to move. So in my case, I want my pedal to come off in this direction. And then the right hand rule dictates that your fingers will curl in the direction that you want to turn that object, or in this case, the wrench for taking this pedal off. So in my case, because my fingers are curling this way, I want my wrench to rotate in this direction. So you can start by placing your wrench on there from any angle and try rotating in the direction that we established and see if you're able to take your pedal off. In some cases this will work, but a lot of the time these pedals get pretty tightly stuck on there and you need to be a little bit more strategic about how you're applying your force. So this one happens to be particularly tight, so I'm going to try repositioning my crank so it's a little bit beyond the front of its pedal stroke like this. Then I can place my wrench on here like this and with one hand I can press on this pedal and the other hand I can press down on here and I'm able to use my body weight to help apply the force for taking this pedal off. And there we go. So although in my case I was able to break this pedal free just by applying the forces with my arms, if you try that and it doesn't work and your pedal is still really badly stuck on there, as a last resort, you can try doing the same thing except applying the forces with your feet instead. So you can place one foot on the pedal like this and then balance on the bike and apply force with your other foot onto the wrench like that. So after the pedal's been initially broken free, you should be able to rotate it off the rest of the way with your fingers. And there, the right pedal's been removed. So moving over to the left side of the bike, we're now dealing with a pedal which has threads which are opposite of what we're used to. So instead of using the right hand rule again, we instead switch to our left hand and use the left hand rule instead. It works in the same way, so your thumb on your left hand points in the direction that you want the pedal to move and your fingers 
curl in the direction that you need to rotate your wrench for taking this pedal off. So in a similar way, I can place my wrench on here and rotate in the direction that my finger is dictated and apply a fair bit of force to be able to do that. And once I've got it started, I should be able to finish it the rest of the way with my fingers. And there the left pedal is removed. Before I proceed with installing these other pedals onto the bike, I have one important note on compatibility. The majority of bikes all use the same common thread size, so most pedals are readily interchangeable. However, bikes which use one-piece style cranks, as opposed to the much more common three-piece style cranks, typically use pedals which have threads which are of a slightly smaller diameter. So the procedure for installing the pedals is actually quite straightforward. We just need to use our right and left hand rules to ensure that we're rotating in the correct direction. Before installing, it's a good idea to apply some grease to the threads of each pedal. This will help the pedals from becoming badly stuck in the future. The type of grease I normally use for bicycle related things is white lithium grease, but there are many other types of grease which are also acceptable. So starting on the right side of the bike, the side of the bike which has the chain on it, I take my pedal which is labeled R, and I need to use the right hand rule, so I want to install the pedal in this direction where my thumb points, which means I need to rotate in this direction here. So I'll line the threads up with the crank arm like that, and I should be able to get it started by rotating with my fingers. After I've got it tightened as far as my fingers can handle, I can take my wrench and snug it up the rest of the way. So I follow a similar procedure for the left pedal, but this time of course using the left hand rule, so my thumb points inwards in the direction that I want the pedal to go into the crank, and need to rotate in this direction here, which is the opposite of what I just did. So once again I start it with my fingers, and finish it with the wrench. Anyway, that concludes the tutorial showing how to change the pedals on a bicycle. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.